Thank you for joining us as we learn about proper administration of several common seizure rescue medications. Prolonged tonic-clonic seizures or clusters of shorter seizures left untreated can sometimes lead to status epilepticus. Status epilepticus is a seizure that lasts for five minutes or longer or multiple seizures back to back without returning to a normal level of consciousness within a five minute period. Treatment within three to five minutes can often stop this from happening and help prevent permanent brain damage or death. You may prevent a trip to the emergency room if you treat seizures early by following your child's seizure emergency medication protocol provided by your doctor. There are many types of medications that your doctor can prescribe to help control breakthrough seizures. Today, we will be demonstrating how to administer the most common types of benzodiazepines usually prescribed. Valtoco is a prescription medicine used for short-term treatment of seizure clusters in patients two years of age and older. Like other rescue medications, you should carry Valtoco with you in case you need to control your seizure clusters. Seizure clusters, also known as episodes of frequent seizure activity, are seizures that occur two or more times within a 24-hour period. These seizures are often different than your usual seizure pattern. This can mean having several seizures in a row, or they can be hours apart. These seizure clusters can be different from person to person, so it's important to discuss with your healthcare provider to identify your seizure cluster activity and when to use your rescue medication to treat them. Valtoco is given in the nose, nasal only, and can be prescribed at different doses based on patient's age and weight. Each Valtoco only sprays one time and cannot be reused. Do not test or prime the nasal spray before use. Each dose of Valtoco is provided in an individual pack. Use all the medication in one pack for a complete dose. If prescribed to do so, a second dose may be given at least four hours after the initial dose if needed. One blister pack equals one complete dose. The patient does not need to breathe deeply when the medication is given. Lay the person on their side or back if possible. This can be given to a person lying down, standing, or sitting. Hold Valtoco with your thumb on the bottom of the plunger and place your first and middle finger of the nozzle are against the bottom of the person's nose. Press the bottom of the plunger firmly with your thumb to get Valtoco. Remove Valtoco from the nose and throw away the nasal spray device after each use. Make note of the time the dose was given. If giving the 15 mg or 20 mg dose, repeat the previous steps and use the second device in the other nostril to give the full dose as prescribed by your doctor. After giving Valtoco, stay with the person and watch them closely. Keep or move the person on their side facing you so that you are able to watch them. Call for emergency help if any of the following happen. Seizure cluster behavior is different than other seizure clusters the person has had. If you are alarmed by how often the seizures happen, by how severe the seizure is, by how long the seizure lasts, or by the color or breathing of the person. Throw away or discard the used Valtoco. If needed, a second dose may be given at least four hours after the first dose using a new pack of Valtoco. Do not give more than two doses of Valtoco to treat a seizure cluster. A second dose should not be given if there is concern about the person's breathing, they need help with their breathing, or they have extreme drowsiness. Do not use Valtoco for more than one seizure cluster episode every five days. Do not use Valtoco for more than five seizure cluster episodes in one month. Thank you for watching and make sure to reach out to your pharmacist or provider if you have any questions.